Hello and welcome to USF 2000 once again. We're at Road America this time. And uh, this is a pretty, pretty challenging course. Uh, I've been here before because NASCAR has started coming here. So I uh, remember doing a uh, truck race and C-Fix in the past and being terrible, as a matter of fact. <laughs> and uh, maybe another race or two, or maybe that's it. Don't remember, but I haven't been here too often. So, uh, not exactly the most comfortable here, but uh, still uh, been having fun practicing in the USF, even when it's on cold tires and trying to kill me. But uh, I think I might be a little slower pace this time, just trying to keep it on the course, because it, uh, like I said, it's been pretty challenging, for me anyway, getting it uh, to do what I want and <laughs> not uh, spin out or end up off track. Some of these really hard braking points, it's easy to lock up your brakes if you're not careful, so. Part of the, uh, being easy on it. And I gotta be a little easier on these exits, especially when you're going a little slower, you don't want to just mash the gas. So we're gonna be, uh, probably a little slower, if I had to guess. But uh, if things go right, maybe we'll, you know, stay on course at least. This, of course, is just a warm-up lap, so we're not too worried. A couple corners that are flat out, like this one. But, of course, you can't uh, assume everyone knows that. So if, uh, if I happen to qualify poorly or something, end up going the back, and then, you know, someone's slowing down, i got to be ready for that. Oop, locked the brakes a bit up there. That's what I'm talking about. I, uh, might move this back a little bit more. I already moved it back a little bit. I don't want to go too crazy with it, but if I can prevent more, uh, locking up of the brakes, that would be grand. I don't know what I was doing in that final corner, but that's not how to get a good run up to the line. I just, I was being weird about it. Green flag. But that's okay. okay. We'll get where we get. I'll just try to put in an average lap for my uh, standards here and see what it, where it brings us. Today has not been much of a good day for me. <laughs> in terms of racing, I just I've had I've been doing pretty poorly today, to be honest. I don't know what's wrong with me, but just had some bad races and. At least one really bad production car challenge. That was embarrassing. So, hopefully I can do a little better here. But, things aren't looking too great. <laughs> At least on speed. I feel like I can have... very least... drive it. Well... <laughs> say that, but... Yeah, this might not be good. <laughs> At least I got uh, decent practice in this time. Because before the uh, Mazda race, or the production car challenge at Okayama, I thought I'd be able to get away with not doing as much practice, and the race ended up being tragic, so... And now I'm making all these mistakes, and there goes one of our laps. I think it's just a bad day. If I knew better, I would just stop racing today and just accept that I don't have it today. But here I go racing again. I don't know what my problem is. I don't know, a little hard there. But this ladder... Ladder. This lap matters, is what I was trying to say, but said in one word for some reason. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Oh my god, I'm so bad today. Ah. I don't know if I didn't sleep well or what. But I just, I can't stay on track, even if I'm trying to be careful. Like, I even did an uh, ARCA race today, and it wasn't awful, but it wasn't really that great, either. 
It's uh, <laughs> it's been downhill from there. Just focus on getting good runs off, I guess, because there are some long straightaways on this uh, circuit. I don't know, man. It's kind of tough remembering the breaking points because I have to. I'm just using those number markers on the side and I have to remember okay this turn I stop at the three and that turn I stop at the two and then that turn I actually stop over here it's like messing with my head a lot, lot to remember it's part of just being at a course where I don't uh, go too often or haven't been too often so I to get used to it As long as I stay on the track, though, I hope I do okay, but staying on the track isn't a guarantee at this moment. At least, so far, we have a lap that'll actually count at this point. Really wide there, on a flat-out corner. So bad. So bad. The leader's just done a 210.4. About spun it out. Well, about a second off of my best lap by the time we get through the line. Not ideal. That's a new fastest lap for Roberts. At least we put a lap in, I guess. That'd be good. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Ugh, we went up one spot from qualifying. Might have had some beginner's luck. <laughs> the first couple of races in this thing. I feel like I'm about to get my butt kicked. I get turning. I just keep missing the turn in and it's ruining everything. 210, 211, 212. Oh, it's so bad. So far this week has not been good to me. Except for the uh the Legends race at Watkins Glen, that one's that wasn't too bad. I feel like it's been directly downhill. Like the Legends race was good. The Arca race was okay. But then I did the Mazda race, which was bad. And then now, what do we have? <laughs> I'm scared. So far, very not good. Hmm. Well, let's not kill anyone. That's uh. One to go. Next time by. Line up the, the easy side. little goal I'm setting for myself. Don't kill anyone. Am I capable of that? Let's find out. More first feedback. <laughs> I don't know. It's feeling a little floaty. Maybe I need a little bit more reaction from the wheel. Just trying anything, I guess. But that tiny little bit's gonna matter too much. If we keep it smooth, maybe we won't do so bad. Hmm. Only got a couple people behind us, so there's value in that. We won't have too much pressure from behind if guys get around us, or if they're way off pace, or, you know, more likely I'm the one way off pace, but... Let's just try to have some fun. I don't know if I've ever had a good race here. I don't know if I've ever performed well at Road America. I'd have to check the records, but like I said, I've only been here once or twice before anyway. And I know the truck race I did <laughs> did not go well. That was a long time ago, too. It was like last year. Well, obviously last year just turned 2022. I mean like 2020, I think, is when I did that race. It's been a long time. Or at least early 2021. It's been a minute. So we'll get our rolling start here. We have to do a whole lap, unfortunately. And it's a two-minute lap at regular speed, so we're going to be here for a year and a half. So that's not exciting. As always, I'll have uh, chapters that'll... Uh, I'll have race start, 
on the chapter, so if you don't want to suffer through the pace lap with me, I understand. We are getting rolling now, at least. Block has started. I wonder if they're going to leave a gigantinormous gap between the pace car and the lead guy. He did that at Watkins Glen, and that was kind of strange. We have plenty of space in front of us. So there's no any accidental uh, pickup issues. I saw some smoke already, like some get their tires because of exactly what I said I was going to avoid. Getting up too close to someone. Just don't want to accordion here and end up running into the back of someone. That would just make. A rough day, even worse. Already had to apologize to people today. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Not ideal. So we can, uh, we can slam the gas from year two. It's good to know. The leader will be the one on the right side, since we're running clockwise around Road America. Keep that in mind. I'm used to, you know, regular ovals. So it's different from that. I've caught myself looking at the wrong guy before in road racing. My oval brain transitioning to road racing mode. This corner could be a problem. I got smashed into the back of in uh, practice by a guy that missed his breaking point there so you know it's gonna happen at least once to somebody in this race potentially more than once to various people so to watch out for that and hope we're not one of those people not too much longer now we're approaching the end of the lap sort of man they couldn't have put us halfway through this one I guess we do still have to go through this whole carousel type deal. And then through the forested area. The forested area is pretty nice to look at, at least. Reminds me of the drive to my old childhood home. Lots of trees on both sides of the, <laughs> on both sides of the road. This would be a cool uh, track to race in the fall or something. Be cool if uh, iRacing had that capability. Maybe they do, I don't know. But to have all the trees be like yellow and orange, that'd be neat. Not that the trees are that uh, complex graphically <laughs> at this point. But I think it'd be, I think it'd look nice. They did it right. If they didn't do it right, it would just look like they were on fire, probably. <laughs> That's uh, less comforting. Second gear is where I want to be. It looks like first gear is just way too short. Alright, bunching it up. It's kind of a small field. Um, this is the... I mean, it did split, so it's not like this is all the people that signed up. But uh, I guess you get smaller fields here in the USF 2000. About to go green. Well, we're about to get ready to go. Exciting and scary. Let's not ruin it. He's going. I'm not gonna be trying to make any moves. I promise you that. Right side. Stay on the left. Someone on our right. Stay on the left. Clear on the right. So go. All right. It looks like everyone's clean so far. Fantastic. See how many die in the, in this corner that I predict death in. I'm gonna break much earlier because I feel like there's gonna be a stack up here. Uh, 
Wow, everyone's doing great. Just surviving at the moment. Being slow. But uh, we're kind of just the same speed as the rest of the pack at this point. Oh, one guy's off. Speed corner here. Gotta be ready. Guy got his tires off, but he keeps it going the right direction. Another stack up here, probably. Gonna have to watch out for that. There's no way to make a move right now because we've got guys side by side. Can't take that flat out if they're not going flat out in front of me. guys off. Don't come back and kill me. Oh my god, please. Oh. <laughs> you kind of just have to go out there and pray to whatever god. <laughs> Whenever you see a guy off track, just hope that they're not going to swerve back and kill you. You just feel like a sitting duck there for a moment because you don't know exactly what's going on. We think P6 has gone off in turn one. That's another spot. That's a good spot, too. That's the number one that was off track. And, uh, if you crash in one of these, you're lucky if you get to keep going. It's just like IndyCar. I mean, you know, it's just one of these machines, you know, that uh, will break if bent. Not in the mood to send it. Even if he's quite slow. Get lots of time. Hmm, weirdly pushy there. I think arrow push might be a thing in these cars. I haven't really noticed it so far, but I probably should have. Ooh, got kind of weirdly sideways there. I was peeking to the left as I uh, got loose off the corner. Good. All right. Still alive. He's off track a bit. Does not crash. You got a car on the left. Turn More 14. crashing. Like oh, almost crashing for me. I'm oh, sorry. I'm not sure if we actually made contact, but that's awesome. Sorry. Number uh, seven's fast. That's another guy that we're passing. Probably would have not been able to otherwise. Eighth place, that's already better than I think I deserve, to be honest with you. More people off course. Okay, navigated that. Hmm, that number seven might come back and get us though, because they seem like they're back going again and they're only 4.8 seconds behind or so. And uh, judging by their open practice times before the race, they are capable of making that up. Seems like everyone is going to spread out just a bit, enough that they can uh, be in trouble in front of us wide because kind of missed my turn in as I was behind him. The car in front of us is now Morales. Okay. Fine. It's 
take that little type, maybe. Took that a little shallow, maybe. <laughs> Not so great with the positioning today. Been able to go into second gear there. Breaking a little too soon into this corner, I believe. But rather sooner than later. Where are we now? B7. Not Okay. Moving forward, somehow. Got this eight behind us, I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for. Draft is nice. Helping us keep up with guys that might be faster. Halfway home. Fuel's good. So I had trouble here last lap. Looks like he's doing okay this time. A little shaky on exit. Come on, find a way around. We're losing time. Good run out of there. It's better than I had before. Going tight. Left side. Peak to the right. Still there. Clear on the left. Oh, we never get it that barely. Whew. Whew. Right side. Of course, I'm going to get right back to him. Still there. Clear on the right. Just overdrove that because I know I've been underdriving it, so I gotta find the perfect, uh. gotta find the just right. P6, what's your best lap in this session? Don't run into this fella, he was nice, and then we just gave it right back, so. This run. Right side. Keep to the left. Keep to the left. Keep to the left. Clear. All right. Did it again. I'm probably annoying the heck out of this guy because okay, <laughs> I'm slowing him down. Constantly going in front of and behind him, but so uh, I'm trying my best. I'm sorry. I'm like super slow in some corners, and then I catch up to him in others, and that's probably really frustrating to deal with. And we run away. Time to get defensive, mate. So he's gonna come up on us. We'll leave the inside open if he chooses to go for it, which it looks like he will. Right side. Still there. Keep to the left. He does not get it done. Still there. Clear. Okay. 
Okay, still alive. <laughs> it's close racing. So far, good. Uh, no one's run into each other, really, around me, so. Whew, it just put us in fifth somehow. Underdriving that. Step the exit to that. It's gonna come on by us again, I bet. Yeah, all right. I guess I'll take the defensive the line. Push, 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 or we'll lose this place. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Clear. <laughs> Hard racing. I hope I'm racing respectfully. I don't know all of the road racing etiquette yet. There might be like, oh, if you pass someone, make sure you don't try to pass them again uh, until this many laps pass. Stay on the left. Stay on the left. It's hanging on my inside. Is he going to back off? No. You're on the left. Oh, you're on the left. this guy. That is right not a good move. That is so dangerous. There. Thinks he's so cool now. It's because I had to put my freaking left you're sides on the, right. in the grass. Two minutes to go. Two on your left. So dangerous for no reason. Still there. Clear on the left. Hmm. Colton, the next car is Barker. Fastest lap for Roberts. Turn, car, come on. Keep messing up the exits. It's killing me on these long straights. God, that's so frustrating. White flag already? Man, these races are too short. It's not long at all. Stuck behind him. Messing up my exit again. <sighs> now he's gonna take the inside line, looks like. stuck behind him, but can't just run him over. Scare him, maybe? He was not phased by our facade. Come on, car stick. Not where I want to be. Still there. Uh, we try to get it to stick. Good race, mate. Whew, what a race. Awesome race, man. Ugh, oh, got it. Clear. Man. Yeah, keep going. I just didn't want to wreck him. Car on your left. Tried. Oh. Yeah, great race. I made too many mistakes, but uh, it was a lot of fun. You did really well. <laughs> it was. Dude, uh, great race number nine. That was a ton of fun. That <laughs> I 
that was pretty fun. Yeah, everybody like totally uh, did great. Didn't run into anyone. I did have to get away I give myself an axe after the race is over. Uh, that was tiring. Super intense. Got the jitters afterward. Wish I could have done better than that, but I guess we ended up better than we were qualified. And I did say that it was a it was tricky for me. And it was a fun, it was a fun race, so. That's what it matters in the end, right? So, let's see what happened. Off in the dirt. There goes us. I don't think they uh, ended up coming back and bidding us. Now they were behind us. I think we had a wreck up here. Ooh, yeah. That sent the number one off. Wheels tangled up. Can't make contact wheel to wheel on these. Ooh. Number five just takes them out, it looks like. They must have thought they were clear and then we're not. Hmm. Tough. I thought they were going to come reach us again because I know they're fast, but they must have had another problem. Oh, wow. And then they kind of got a little bit of their own medicine there. Not that they did it on purpose, but... Actually, they kind of just turned into them. That's two people they hit. It just it was them that got hurt that time. Oh, and they break their car? Oh, yikes. Trees. But it looks like he was in the middle of the track there for a second. That could have been bad. Spin out, but... They came back and... No, they had another problem. I keep thinking, like, these guys come back and get us, but... Oop. Look out. Or, uh, tires off. What on earth was that? That looked intentional. Uh, problems from earlier, maybe, or something, but that was bad. Runs into the back of him, maybe he was mad about that, I don't know. But, uh, oops. Didn't mean to accelerate that fast. Hmm. But he gets off the track there, and he seems to be passing just fine, and he just straight up turns into him. He doesn't have the excuse of being off track anymore. Because he's got it under control right here. And you can see he just goes to the left. I wonder if we can spy on him in the cockpit and see the wheel turn. Uh, where can we look? Yeah, there it is. Okay, he's got it saved. It's moving uh, straight. Oh, what was that? What you doing? What was that? Hmm. Curious. Very smart taking yourself out at the same time, I will say that. Is it broken? Really not. You got messed up. Let's uh do this. And then see if we can uh fix it. Get back to where we were, because I don't think that was it. Back to the intentional wreck. Right about here. Okay, so it goes off and then runs into him on purpose for some reason. No way! That really was it! How about that? Huh. Well, I guess it was a short race after all. dirty but oh well oh, was he laps down too at this point was he just out there to take him out I don't know regardless don't wreck people on purpose not that like <laughs> anyway he ate meh not so good we had some great racing though I think we could have had p5 if things went a little differently you know, I just uh, didn't manage 
the overtaking very well. I was being extra careful not to run into people. You know, stuff like that. I could have been farther over and maximized my corners. There's a couple ways I could have just been a better road racer. But uh, so just being extra careful. And at least at the end, I end up with 0x. So, goal was not to crash and not crash anyone else. I guess uh, I achieved that at least. Uh, it was some exciting racing. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I will see you in the next race. Thanks for watching.